How's it going guys? Uh, Juan Santos here over at the Electrical Apprenticeship uh, School. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to solve for unknown values in a parallel uh, type circuit. Uh, the problem that we have here today uh, is parallel circuit, voltage source, uh, and it's got three resistors. Okay. Uh, however, each resistor's got, instead of their resistance values, it has their wattage values. P1 is 40 watts, P2 is 60 watts, and P3 is 100 watts. Uh, and we also have uh, the total voltage at the source of 120 volts. So we're going to be solving for all of these unknown values across each one of these uh, resistors. So before we do that, uh, first thing we have to understand is what the rules for parallel circuits is. Uh, first rule, as far as the voltage is concerned, in a parallel circuit, uh, voltage stays the same across all of the components. Okay? That's why ET is equal to E1 is equal to E2 is equal to E3. Uh, power, total power, is the sum of the individual powers, very similar to uh, the sum of the powers in series. However, the total resistance in a parallel circuit uh, can be solved using what we call the reciprocating method. And we can also use Ohm's law as well to solve for uh, resistance values. And then total current in a parallel circuit is the sum of the individual uh, currents uh, through each of the branches. Uh, besides these rules, we also have to know the, the laws that govern these type of circuits. Ohm's law, for example, meaning the voltage is equal to the current times the resistance. Uh, and also, if we're looking for the current, it would be the voltage divided by the resistance. Watt's law, uh, power is equal to the current times the voltage. Okay, so these are uh, the two laws that govern these types of circuits, and these are the rules that govern uh, parallel circuit. The first thing I would do, since I have 120 volts, I know what my voltage is, is across each one of these. It's going to be 120 volts because in a series circuit, in a parallel circuit, I'm sorry, uh, voltage stays the same across all the components. Okay, so that'd be the first thing I solve for. Now that I have power and voltage at each one of these components, you know, I can use Watt's law. Power divided by the voltage gives me the current. So in this case, uh, if I'm solving for power, uh, uh, I'm sorry, if I'm solving for current at the first component, it would be 40 watts divided by 120 volts to get uh, a current value of 0.333 repeating amps. Okay. Uh, now that I have that, I can also do the voltage divided by the current. Voltage divided by the current gives me the resistance. So if I take the voltage, which is 120 volts, and divide it by that answer, I get a, a resistance value of 360 ohms. Let me write these formulas over here. I1 is equal to the power divided by the voltage. So in this case, 40 watts divided by 120 volts gives me 0.333 repeating amps, okay? And then all I did for R1 is take uh, the voltage divided by that current to get uh, that resistance value. So the voltage divided by the resistance, sorry, voltage divided by the current gives me the value of R1 which was, in this case, uh, 360 ohms, okay? So there are all the values there for the first uh, branch, and we can do the same thing for the second branch. In this case, I have 60 watts divided by 120 volts, so uh, I2 is equal to P2 divided by E2, so 60 divided by 120, 0.5 of an amp. Okay, we can write that uh, in here, 0.5 of an amp. And then R2 will be the total voltage divided by I2. So 120 divided by 0.5 
gives me 240 ohms for my resistance value at R2. Okay. Now we have a uh, same, and we're going to do the same process for the third resistor. So P3, or better yet, I3, is equal to P3 divided by uh, our voltage at 3. So 100 watts divided by 120 volts. Point eight three three repeating amps. And do the same thing for our last resistor that we're looking for. It would be uh, the voltage at that resistor divided by this current. So 120 divided by point eight three three. gives me 144 ohms. Okay. So we have all the values now. We have uh, uh, our voltage, resistance, and current for each one of these. The only thing that's left to do is to solve uh, total resistance, total current, and total power. Well, as the rules state, Total resistance can be found using the reciprocating formula, and we have each one of those, so we can just reciprocate uh, that equation to solve for RT, which is 1 divided by 1 over 360 plus 1 divided by 240 plus 1 divided by 144, and that will give us our total uh, resistance. So 360 reciprocated plus 240 reciprocated plus 144 reciprocated equals and reciprocate that answer and I get a total resistance of 72 ohms. Okay. Solving for IT, ET divided by RT using Ohm's law. So total current is equal to our total voltage which is 120 divided by 72 ohms. And it gives us 1.66 repeating amps. And we can do the same thing for uh, PT. Take a uh, total current times our total voltage to get a total of uh, 200 watts. And just to see if this is true, all we did over here to solve for uh, total power was take ET times IT, 120 times uh, 1.66 repeating, and that gave us our 200 watts. But check this out. We also know that PT is equal to P1 plus P2 plus P3. 40 plus 60 is 100, plus another 100 gives us our 200 watts. So we know that all of our work here is going to be correct if we double check our answers using the rules in comparison to uh, uh, the laws in, in Ohm's law. So this is how you solve for unknown values in a, in a parallel type circuit uh, using the rules and using Ohm's law. Hopefully uh, the video is useful to the apprentices here at the school or the apprentices anywhere you know, in, our, in, our, in the country. Uh, but besides that, okay, uh, we're out. Thank you very much.